Welcome to Simulator Adventures, and welcome to Train Simulator. Today I'm going to have a look at the mitten Waldbahn route, and this is a um, route that goes through the German and Austrian Alps. I think it's going to be really cool. Um, I've hardly really played it before. I think it came with one of the older editions of Train Simulator. Um, and this is quite unusual for me, because I don't really play um, freight uh, kind of missions very often, so we're going to do this one. Containers to Innsbruck. Due to ongoing maintenance works... Uh, sorry, due to ongoing maintenance works on the Munchen-Rosenheim route, your container train is rerouted over the mitten Waldbahn. You are taking over this train at Seefeld, and you will drive it to Innsbruck. The weather on this summer's day is absolutely brilliant, so enjoy a nice run through the Austrian Alps. So, let's start the mission. I'll load up, and I'll jump cut to uh, when we're ready to start. Okay, so here we are. Uh, good afternoon, driver. It's a lovely day, and this run down to Innsbruck should be an easy one. You will let the passenger train to Mittenwald pass before following a passenger service down to Innsbruck. So keep an eye out on the signals. Set up your engine now and wait for the signal to clear before you proceed. Right, okay, so we've got to wait for a train. Uh, oh, and that's just closed. Okay, so it looks like we're in a, in a valley, in a town. Going up into the mountains, I guess. That's going to be cool. Um, so we're here. Right in the centre, and we gotta go. Whoa, all the way down there. Okay, set up the train. So, make sure the lights are right. There you go. Put her into gear. That's pretty much it. What do we got in here? Oh, that's the horns. Brake release, nice. Parking brake off. Um, ooh. loco brake. Nothing. Cabin light, yes. That's what we wanted. Does this work? Yeah, look at the blinds as well. Um, acknowledge, there you go. I don't know what free means. I don't know what that means either. Ooh. Oh, override, okay. Oh, okay. Here comes the passenger train. Whoa! That's a bit quick, wasn't it? Wow. Oh, we're not holding about. Right, off we go. Into Z. Does that mean Zuruk? Isn't that go? I don't know. Oh, we're moving? Yes. So you can only push it up to Z or Z plus. I don't know what Z plus means. Even faster. Whoa, look at the... Whoa. Why is it accelerating so fast? Oh, it's in kilometers, okay. Okay, there we go. Max acceleration. I'll probably bring it off now. Whoa, hang on a minute. Okay, this controlling. The way this is controlling actually is more like a sort of. I don't know, it's like a. It, whoa, 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 it's so. Whoa, whoa, okay. I prefer the more conventional layout, let's just say. Um, let's hold it at 60 then. Okay, we can do it. Right. It glides pretty well, so we should be alright. So yeah, this, this interior is quite nice, isn't it? It's like... Detailed. Love the look of the train. We haven't seen much scenery yet, but... Yeah, it looks good. A lot of trees, a lot of... I mean, yeah, okay, some of it... Some of the mountains aren't very detailed, but yeah. It's cool, at least, you know. So when, when we don't want to accelerate, we have to put it to E. Oh, now we've got to... Brakes. There you go. The G meter is kind of showing that we're way... Leaning here. Let's 
So we're going to Hotch Zerl platform. Wow, look at this. They're so cool. This is an area of the world I'd love I'd love to go and see the German Alps and the and the Austrian Alps, that'd be really cool. Wow. The anti-aliasing on the trees is not very good. Um, for the anti-aliasing anti in general in this game is pretty poor, but wow, those trees. Oh, and the frame drops. So when I last did a, um, a freight route, I think I did it on YouTube, and I absolutely failed. Like, seriously. I sort of... I think I went for a red light in the end. Or did I derail? I don't remember. It was like the London to Bedford line or something. If you, if you uh, go to playlists on YouTube, um, there's like all of the games I've played ever and there's a, tra there's a training simulator playlist in there. Um, I am going to maybe in the future work out a different way of like organising my YouTube channel. Um, the channel is kind of growing. The um, train simulator videos seem really popular, so there's clearly a huge um, interest still in this original train simulator version. You know, train sim world hasn't really taken over completely. Um, I mean, yeah, the train sim videos out of all of my videos do well. Um, compared to like series I've done, like city car driving, barely any response on those. Um, and it is a very obscure game, that. Um, so, of course, it does okay, and Train Simulator, so that's what I'm going to be maybe doing a bit more of in the future. Okay, so you've got to kind of, like, push the throttle up, and then it builds up only once you put it in that setting. So it's quite easy to go over. What's LO? Graduated Quick Release. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay, hold. Okay, so you can release it and then put it back to hold, and then you can like graduate the brake. Ah, but look at look at the amount of minus points we're getting. We're not going to do well here. Wow, we're still speeding. Oh my goodness. Release a bit more and hold. Oh yeah. Mini tunnel. That's cool. So how far away is it? 15 kilometers. Okay. And we've got to stop and wait here, so. What can we see out to the right? Not much. So yeah, I'm just waiting. I'm probably going to... Um, I've been thinking, you know, the DLC from people like Just Trains and the standard game, you know, they always come with loads of uh, missions, right? And I, I don't think I've ever actually completed any of the um, DLC, if you see what I mean. I haven't done, like, all of the uh, missions. And there's a new DLC that's coming out soon for Train Simulator, this version, um, which is the uh, Ashford to Lille uh, Eurostar, and that's coming out on Just Trains. So I'm looking forward to that a lot, um, and I'm probably going to be doing all of the missions and stuff in there, because I think it's, it's really cool. It looks so cool. It's just something I've wanted since like Microsoft Train Simulator days, like 10, 15 years ago. Um, and I can, as a kid, I was playing that Absolutely loved it. Couldn't get enough of it. When I found this game, I was the same for quite a few years. I've kind of gone off it, really, at the moment. Not much really interests me. When I um, do things I'm not really very, you know, I don't do a lot, or things I don't 
I've never done before, like this kind of freight mission on this map. It is interesting, but I wouldn't be able to, you know, play this, you know, play every mission on here, just get too boring. Um, so I'm going to be, uh, when the Eurostar route comes out, I'm going to be definitely doing videos on that. I feel like it's going to be a good year for simulation games. Um, we might get the new Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, obviously the pandemic has kind of slowed the production of games down a bit maybe, but, you know, we've got new DLC coming for American Truck Sim and Euro Truck Sim, which I might have a look at. I think it's finally we're getting Spain and Portugal in Euro Truck. That's going to be great. We're finally going to have the whole of Europe. Or pretty much the whole of Europe. Um, and what could they add next? Maybe like Ireland? I don't know. The mod modding scene has that. But yeah, the, the weird thing about this game is that there isn't... I mean, there is workshop support, but a lot of the workshop support is now broken because it's for like older versions of the game. And um, I, I read on the articles of like street Steam support, they say, oh, no, 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 it's not broken. You just have to do this and this and this. But for some people that works. The, the advice that Dovetail Games gives you to fix the old um, workshop maps for me and a lot of other people, it just doesn't. I don't know what's going on there. I feel like Dovetail Game Support isn't amazingly helpful. You know, I, I have quite a few complaints with them, really. Um, they do they do have a good game here, though. It's the one of the best, if not the best, all-round train simulators. Yeah, you know, Train Sim World looks better. There are, there are loads of other, other you know, train simulators out there. Um, but... You know, and also there's the criticism, oh, you know, £10,000 of a DLC, you know, yeah, we get it. It is not perfect, the, the way that they've um, set this game up, but... I just enjoy it, you know, it's one of those weird things. Anyway, how are we doing? So, we're coming up to... Hotzil Platform 1. Let's break a bit. We have to be there at 14.14, and we're actually going to arrive at more like 12 past, so yeah, that's, we're doing okay, actually. So where do we have to stop? Because it looks like the train is actually longer than the platform. Okay, here we are. There it is. Whoa, look at that! There's a town down there. I can't actually see it, so I don't know why they've put that there. You have to look outside. And there's all these, like, paths and roads going up the side of the mountain. That's cool. Right, here we come. Are we going right or left? Right, okay. release a bit. Two guys talking on mobile phones, so that's a bit weird. And a guy clicking through the sign. That's a huge sign. 12-6. be honest, I don't know what that means. But anyway. Okay, here we are. And we have to wait now. So what are we waiting for? Did it say we're waiting for, like we're following a passenger service? Or what? Hmm. So it looks like we're going into the mountains now. That'd be cool. Ooh, weird river down there. So yeah, this year I'm going to be looking for... You will have to wait for the northbound train to expect it to arrive in two minutes. Okay. So while we're waiting, I'll just talk a little bit about what I'm doing this year. So... I'm looking for loads of new simulator games. I want to go and have a look at some tycoon kind of style games. Um, I will obviously do more in Train Simulator. I do like it a lot. Um, I'm, I'm going to be doing the Eurostar route if it comes out. It just says in development on the Just Trains website. Um, I always leave a link to the DLC and the games I'm playing in this description. So um, if you want to check those out. 
um, have a look. But obviously, the, the DLC for this game is quite expensive. I think this is $40. That's a lot. Um, if you have any suggestions, if any games you'd like me to do, any routes and train simulators you'd like me to do, just let me know. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't want to be spending too much money, but I do have a lot of stuff already, so it might be a chance I, I um, you know, actually uh, already own it. Um, oh, the train is actually slipping forward a bit. Can we put the brakes on a bit more? That's an emergency, and we're still slipping forward. Huh. E. Why are we... Oh, hang on a minute. We have got a parking brake. It's over here, isn't it? Parking brake on. Are we still slipping? Yeah, look, we're still moving. Just... Uh, I can break off then. But yeah, I mean, uh, I'm gonna try and you know get as much as possible um, in terms of videos out this year. I'm kind of doing one a week at the moment. I want to do more um, when I've kind of got time off in the summer. Whoa! Are they gonna stop? Yeah, wow. They stop pretty quickly, don't they? Ah. We can go. I just realised. The green light's up there. Go, go, go. Yes, right. Right. Another ten minutes, we'll be there. Uh, that red light isn't for us, is it? No. Okay. Okay. Through the mountains, through these tunnels. L nice. It's going to be cool. And over to Innsbruck, which is a big city, I think. Right. So I've kind of worked out you have to apply a set amount of brake to stop it speeding around here. You kind of just twitch it just to release a little bit. There you go. So as I'm recording this, it's the 10th of June 2020. Um... I'm probably going to be releasing it like the day after, the 11th of June 2020. Um, and I think tonight, on the 11th of June, um, as this video comes out, they're going to be announcing the PlayStation 5. I feel, well, it's already announced, but they're going to be doing like a sort of a press conference, you know, like as a substitute for E3, which got cancelled this year, I guess. Um, but hang on a minute, PlayStation 1 actually... Um, going to go to E3 anyway. I thought they had their own thing now, but like Nintendo has their own thing. Anyway, um, I do wonder what simulator games and the future of consoles would be, you know, because we've got Microsoft Flight Simulator coming out on, on Xbox. So I wonder if um, simulation games are kind of, you know, people are seeing that they could be moved away from PC and go over to consoles. Maybe that, you know, that'd be quite cool. Um, there's quite a lot of mobile simulation games, and I don't really like them that much. Mate, mate, you know, because they're a bit, you know, like you have to pay a lot to unlock things, and you know, it's like I'd rather just pay for a game and then unlock it with progression. But anyway, I'm going. I'm probably going to do a video on maybe one or two of them in the future. Um, it's just when I've got enough time. I've got all the setup for it. I've got my game capture card and the. Well, I'd have to do it on an iPad. But um, you know, there's a lot of iPad games, um, and I've got the like connector that Apple <laughs> force you to buy if you want to play a um, one of their devices on like a big screen. Through 
through like an HDMI cable. But yeah, I, I, I also might look at some Wii games. I don't know why. I mean, you know, there are some Wii games you could broadly class as uh, simulation games. These are all things I want to do, you know. And one other thing I want to do is uh, make a video. I, I made a video uh, earlier in the last year. Um, actually, when was it? Yeah, it was like middle of last year, about a year ago, about my favourite games, uh, simulation games from the 2000s. And I never ended up making the one because of technical reasons and technical difficulties on the one from the 2010s, my favourite simulation game from the 2010s. Um, I, actually included, I actually included this version, this training simulator, as one of my uh, top 10 picks. Um, of the last decade, the 2000s, sorry. Because it was actually released in 2009 or 2007, something like that. This, and they just continually updated it every year. But yeah, so a lot of things to come. Um, let me know if you want to see something specific, as like I said before. I will be open to suggestions, and I'll probably, I probably... I usually do things that people tell me. It's only happened a, few, a handful of times, but yeah. Um... So yeah, I mean, I, it's just this, making videos in this game just allows me to talk freely. I've got lots of time where not much happens. Um, and also I feel like cutting out a big bit wouldn't really show what the route's like. It's not like Flight Simulator where, you know, you can cut out a lot of stuff where nothing's, nothing's really going on. Um, you kind of have to see the whole route to experience it. So yeah, there are quite a few German routes. I, I wish that there was like a bullet train route, that'd be cool. There are a couple of Japanese routes, but yeah, bullet train route, that'd be cool. I doubt it's going to happen. Maybe there's some kind of licensing issue. Maybe, um, because there's like loads of Japanese train simulators that we don't get over here. There's one where they have an arcade game. Like an actual arcade machine with a train simulator. That is so cool. If you're ever in Japan, Go to an arcade, um, if it's a big arcade, they might have this Densha Dego, which means let's go by train in Japanese, and it's like a really weird but quite cool train simulator in a cabinet that you can play like an arcade game. That's so cool. Wish we had those here. Right, we're coming through. Not too many uh, signals on this route. Probably because it's a, it's mostly just one line, one bit of track. And we, and we haven't actually got that much freight, really. I don't know, like, what? 20 cars? Something like that? Yeah, 20 cars, something like that. I'm not going to count all of them, you know. It would be cool if, like, in, you know... A bit like Eurotruck, it tells you what you're carrying. And maybe you can make a career out of it, but I suppose it doesn't really work like that. You work for a company as a train driver, you don't have your own train, because there's trains are, you know, you're never going to be able to afford a, a train by yourself. Um, trains are like millions, aren't they? I mean, it's a cool concept, but it just wouldn't happen, would it? Maybe, you know, maybe if it was a game, they could improvise that sort of aspect of a, you know, not realistic train um, career. You know, we actually buy your own train and all that, but... Or m maybe create your own... What is that noise? Okay. Where you create your own like train company, maybe that'd be cool. Not like a one where you would draw out the routes, but one where you drove on set routes, but then um, could like hire drivers, buy trains, do routes with like different choose your goods that you know you're taking. That'd be cool. I mean, speaking of Euro Truck, when are they going to release that that coach simulator? That'd be cool. 
Um, oh yeah, and one thing I found out was that when I was looking at Ship Simulator Extremes, um, I think that video is still my most popular video on the channel. Um, I saw a lot of info on one of the websites that they were actually going to be bringing out a new game, a new ship simulator. I don't know when. Um, I will be having a look at that when it comes out, though. That could be cool. Because I love ship simulators, just that we don't have that many good ones. You know, European ship sim, world ship sim, they're pretty bad. Um, ship simulator extremes, you know, it's alright, but there's a lot of issues. Um, yeah. It's a bit like this, you know, it's a bit like Train Simulator. Yeah, it's not great, but we don't really have any other choice. We, this is the only game we can play. There's very little out there that's accessible. And has good graphics, you know. And feels realistic. You know, they argue that... Whoa, mate! Mate, mate, mate. Whoa. So he can hover, but he nearly got himself killed. I mean, wow. I would not have been able to stop in time. There. Hey. So did I not... Let did he level crossings in Germany not make any noise? Or is that just the game? Okay, we're coming into Innsbruck. I think there's a really cool airport here as well. I've flown into a few times. No, it said 40 minutes. Uh, I think. I don't think it's going to be 40 minutes this. More like 30. Innsbruck Hotting Platform. Look at this. Look at this. There it is. There's the airport. Wow, they've actually modelled it. Oh, I never knew there was a train track right by this. So yeah, this is really cool. There's a green car in the car park. Oh, and they've all sunk. Um, what would be cool if they had a, had a plane landing in here? That'd be cool. But no, I don't think they do. Innsbruck Hotting Platform. We're coming in. I can't see where the train station is. Is it here? Oh, that's not very interesting. Come on. Must be a bigger station in town somewhere. They just have their train stations in the middle of freight yards, don't they? In Germany, they're like that. It's very, um... So it's a very functional way of doing it. I mean, the, the thing is here, right? I, let's just wait until we get up closer and then I'll say what I'm going to say. But there is, I have spotted a problem here. This is something that wouldn't be allowed in... Yeah, here you go, here you go. This is something that would not be allowed in the UK where I live. A, a busy train station, right? There are bikes here, and you can just... You have to cross over this to get to the, you know... That wouldn't be allowed here. I mean, I get... I mean, I don't know. I'm, I guess it's safe. If people pay attention, you know. Oh, yeah. You have to go this way. No way. I'm just going to walk out this way. Oops. Well, I stopped a little bit too early, perhaps. I have actually blocked the uh, track here a bit. If a train comes along here, they are definitely going to crash. But, we, you know, there's not much more to go. Anyway, let's just leave it. Dispatch to driver of OB2016-055-3. I will have told you... I will have to hold you here until the next Rex to Mittenwald clears the track. This will take around five minutes. Scenario complete. Well, there you go. That is um, my little look at the Mittenwald barn, um, f one of the freight missions. So, I will leave a link to the DLC down in the description. Maybe go and check it out. I think it's okay. Perhaps it's not worth the price that is listed on the store. Um, I got this at a, in, a, in a pack where you could, like, 
I think, you know, buy the new, the next year's edition of the game, but that was like three years ago. Um, so yeah, maybe on a sale this might be worth it, I don't know, there's also, uh, what, what other things are there? There are um, commuter ones with the trains we just saw driving past, so yeah, maybe you want to do that as well. But yeah, I will see you soon for some more simulator adventures.